Thanks to all of you beautiful beings, it's Elena and I'm Enchanted to be here on my channel. Hello and welcome, I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family and if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you glorious and amazing souls right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs and hopefully you and yours are safe. So on today's video, hello, I am doing the wolf and time unboxing of their Luna Lux box. I am very excited to see what kind of wonderful goodies she came up with for this curation of a box. She was kind enough to send this to me for free to do a review for you and share with you all of her wonderful creations and goodies within. Without further ado, let's take a little peek inside of what kind of stuff we have for the month of May. Now Wolf and Time has a couple different tiers and a couple different types of boxes. So this is their Luna Lux box. They also have their Wolf and Time box and seasonally they have their Bone and Steel box and she also has a stationary pack called Artist's Den, I believe. I will link all of her information down below in the description for you to check it out. Now this is a monthly witchy pagan based box. Here's what it looks like. And there, there's a sticker here that says fragile. Last time there was this, last time I had a box that said fragile, there was an amazing, beautiful altarpiece inside. So I'm very excited to see what kind of stuff is in here. Okay, let's do a little bit of a dramatic opening. Ta-da! Oh boy. So this is their card and their logo and it just talks about some of their information and ways to reach them on social media. I believe this is their information pamphlet of all the goodies inside and it's packed so nicely with tissue paper. We have a cute little cauldron sticker. I'm going to see if I can try to save it. sticker did not rip, but there are some bits and pieces of tissue paper in there, but that's okay. It just gives it a little bit more charm. I'm just going to stick it on over here and save that sticker for later. And then we have, ooh, so here is that. We have an oracle card and I have confidence, pride, poise, and assurance. So she tucks in a little oracle card to go alongside with the Luna Lux boxes, which is very fun. I love that. Then we have her gorgeous original artwork. Very excited to take a look. I'm going to take it right out of the plastic to be able to show you all the beautiful details. And we have a little cauldron and moons on top of it. So, so pretty. Woo! She also has a YouTube channel where she kind of shows how she goes about painting all of these. These look nice. I have a feeling this is part painting and a couple of these flowers seem like they were real flowers just kind of like attached to the painting. So that's very nice. Very nice. I think that might be one of my favorite pieces from her so far. Then we have, oh boy. Ooh, lots of paper goodies. Um, Sweet Woodruff Moon Milk. Interesting. I think this is a little recipe. Well, a large recipe card, but that's kind of cool. And then we have May Wine. Ooh, it also seems to be like a recipe. That's pretty cool. I like the size of them, how they're printed very nicely, but as recipe cards, I would have preferred them to be like slightly smaller so I can keep them in a recipe book because this, this is a little large to keep in my kitchen, but I'm sure I can transfer over um, the recipes into the booklet. Mortem? Mortem? Sure how to pronounce that. Very cool. I'm sure we'll read about them in her little description page. And then we have 
What do we have? What are you? Ooh. Are you an apron? <gasps> oh, if this is an apron, yes! I love aprons. Oh, this is exciting. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Should have moved this out of the way to begin with so that you're able to see me. Oh, but this is an apron with little moons on it. <gasps> I absolutely love this. We have three pockets here. It is a kind of like a, it's a jean texture, but like a soft worn jean texture. So it's like very, think very comfy jeans type of texture. We have a little bit of embroidery here. Oh gosh, so I can show it to you. This looks to be hand embroidered. Very nice. We have three pockets, a pocket here and a pocket here and a pocket here. It could be adjustable with the little loop here, so this necktie could be adjustable. And of course, the tie straps in the back are adjustable. This is awesome! I love aprons. I have a philosophy that you should dress your best every single day, no matter where you're going, what you're doing, what the situation. Even if you're staying home and watching Netflix or going grocery shopping or whatever the case may be, dress your best because it makes you feel empowered, it makes you feel powerful, confident all of those wonderful things and because I dress nice every single day at home I wear a lot of aprons for me to do chores for me to do cookings cookings for me to cook in <laughs> so I don't get my like clothes messed up which is why I love aprons they're they're a little fun extra accessory to add on and this will be such a wonderful magical addition to my kitchen and all of I okay she has sent a couple boxes this is by far my favorite so far, and we didn't even get to the rest of the stuff. That apron, beautiful. Okay, on to more goodies within. We have, it looks like a planter or a pot of some sort. Hmm, ah, I think we might have seeds in here. We have thyme. Of course they're gonna put in time, it's a wolf in time. And then we have, oh, cute. So we have a little plant marker. And these are some thyme, thyme seeds? Are there thyme seeds in here? Yes, there is a few thyme, thyme seeds in there. I love how they stuck to the theme of their box, perfect. Came in a nice little burlap baggie, which could be used for other things. Then we have, there's more. There's still more in this box. This is, this is, this is a good box. And then we have, what do we have in here? Come on. of some sort. I don't want to mess it up too much. Um, I would say it's more kind of like a witch's bell or like a protection type of thing. We have the cutest little jar ever. Train. Look at how cute that little jar is. Hold on. Look at how cute and petite this little jar is. I'm going to carefully tuck all of this back in so that we can read it, but we have a little twine wreath. We have some plants, we have ribbon, and some dried herbs, and a cord, and, and more like twine things. So I'm gonna tuck this neatly back in here so I don't lose any of this stuff. I tend to be like overexcited with my boxes and just kind of dump out <laughs> whatever is inside these little baggies without realizing that some of them could be spell bags. So I have upturned a few spell bags within my excitement. Minor intermission. As I gently coax it all back in. 
we shall read about it later. Okay, on to the rest of the stuff. Then we have iced tea magic. Ooh! So instead of like a hot brewed tea, we have some iced tea magic stuff. Very nice. And we have orange peel, black chai tea, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, ginger root, black pepper, and flavor. 100% organic. Black pepper and flavor. What is the flavor? Ooh, this smells so good. Mmm. It smells like a chai latte. It smells almost exactly like a chai latte. That smells really good. Then we have a little spoon with a carved little moon and floral design. I'm gonna get all these dust stuff of me. Very nice. A good size spoon. Nice! This also looks hand carved. I'm not sure if she did it or if she had a different artist and do it. We'll read about all the stuff in her little pamphlet afterwards, but we have a nice cooking spoon. Then we have ooh, something very heavy. Excuse my dog in the background pushing all of her buttons because I'm not giving her attention. This is really heavy. We have a little flame crystal. My guess is that it's an agate of some sort. Oh, it's beautiful. It is a very nice size too. My guess is that it's an agate. I'm not sure. We shall read about it. It is very, very pretty. It is so heavy. Oh my goodness. Don't put this on a shelf up high if it can like drop down on you. Bad things might happen. <laughs> Last but not least, we have some spices, I think. We have sweet magic, 100% maple syrup and cinnamon. Mm. And then we have savor magic, garlic, applewood, smoked salt, and thyme. Very cool. So we have some cooking herbs in here. And let me show you this side of them. Nice. All right. So this was all the stuff inside. Then we have a little nest of some sort. Interesting. Um, I like the packaging, definitely unique. Let's read about all the goodies and get a little bit more information on some of the things here. Always on her very fancy paper. We have crafting cuisine is our theme for May to welcome in the summer with feast, drink, and celebration. We connect to food because it is elemental magic. It brings us together and it nourishes our mind, body, and soul. This month's box will focus on ways to create more intentional energy into your daily eating, whether you are the finest chef or challenged in the kitchen. Then we have Moon Phase Denim Apron. Your 100% cotton denim apron is custom made just for this box and has beautiful moon phases embroidered on the front. It has plenty of pockets for your spoons, spatulas, or recipes and fits masculine and feminine alike. It is adjustable at the neck and will protect you from potion spills, sauce splatters, and anything else you want to use it for. As you wrap it around yourself, think of it as a ceremonial garment that puts you in the mood for using intentional energy for your cooking. You can also slip a crystal in the pocket to give you extra inspiration. Nice! Then we have hand carved wooden spoon. Your unique spoon is hand carved with the moon phase of our logo in a spring of time by my daughter Brianna. Nice! So it is hand carved. It is made from non moo wood and symbolizes nobility, magnificence, and authenticity, authentic identity. Its smaller size means it can be used for several different uses that you can create in magical rituals, stirring, adding ingredients, tasting, serving, or however you'd like to use it. It is infused with energy and I hope that it will have a special place in your kitchen. Then we have Kitchen Herbal Grow Kit. 
uh, nine varieties. You have one of nine different herbal kits for growing delicious herbs for your dishes. Okay, so it is various herbs. I'm kind of excited that I got the little thyme kit to go alongside with their wolf and thyme box. Very nice. And it says... Included in your cotton bag is a small reusable planter container, non-GMO seeds for your herbs, and a bamboo marker with your herbs name on it. Then we have Kitchen Magic Seasoning Set, which are these two. There are two packets that have been handcrafted by myself to add spice and sweetness and magic to your dishes. The first one is Savory Magic. I added 100% organic garlic, applewood, smoked kosher salt, and organic thyme leaf. The garlic banishes negativity. Negativity, evil, envy, and thieves. The garlic banishes negativity, evil, envy, and thieves and is protection ward while helping your immune system. The thyme leaf helps with cleansing, courage, healing, hope, protection, and strength while giving you vitamin A and C. Sweet Magic has 100% organic maple syrup granules and organic cinnamon. The maple syrup holds the energy of the tree, which represents balance, offering practical magic, promise, longevity, generosity, and intelligence while being a healthier sweetener alternative. Cinnamon can be used for cleansing negative energy, enhancing divination, and creating abundance while helping you keep your blood sugar levels balanced. Nice, and then we have iced tea magic jar. On hotter days, a tall glass of iced tea sounds so refreshing, so I wanted to create you a little jar of something you can make. Inside is a custom blend of orange peel, black chai tea, cinnamon, cardamom cloves, ginger root, black pepper, and flavor. It is 100% organic and makes about three glasses of iced tea. Contains caffeine. Nice, nice, and then there's more stuff to read because we have more goodies. We have Secrets of the Mystic Grove Oracle Card, which is the Oracle Card that we received. DIY Kitchen Protection Wreath, like I said, looks like a protection wreath, which is that. You have a little bag full of all the elements you need to make your own kitchen protection wreath. Inside you will find a grapevine ring, chrysanthemum dried flowers, cotton cord, raffia, ribbon, and a mini bottle. Use the elements to wrap around the wreath, and as you do, you can say mantras out loud and push the energy of the wards into each loop. The little bottle is for you to add a special ward, rune sigil, or note inside to hang from the middle. I'd also recommend adding bells to your little protection because sound is a very good cleansing tool and a banishing tool, and witches' bells are a very common practice to add to like doorknobs or door handles or anything where like entry is permitted. So if you're going to be doing this, I would recommend adding like a little bell or something just to give it a little bit more oomph. Then we have, this month we have collaborated with Magical Folk to give you three of our own original magical recipes. The cards have a front and back so you can read all about the meaning of the ingredients, their uses, and properties. Okay, so that's why the pages are much larger. There's like a little recipe. And on the other side, it has all of their meanings and information. And then we have her original artwork, 8x9, glossy watercolor print, The Luna Loft, Natural's Cauldron, it's an original watercolor painting I did for of a big copper cauldron deep in the woods and intertwined with nature's abundance. A red-tailed hawk looks from above to guard its magical brew, and the flowers and trees bloom in summer's sunlight. The cauldron is the first cooking pot and is the heart of the hearth and home. It represents the womb and of rebirth, new life, and great energy. We use it for herbs, for offerings, for incense, for rituals, and for food. The celebration of the harvest and the feast brings us all together and reminds us of how grateful we are. Then we have premium large carnelian fire form. <gasps> okay, it's not an agate, it is a carnelian, and carnelian is my favorite crystal. This box is top notch. Thank you so much, Kat, for being so gracious to send it to me. I love everything in it. It is amazing. And it's my favorite crystal. I have carnelian always by my side here. <laughs> and now I get to add another wonderful addition. I am so excited about this box. Carnelia is a cushion of passion and creativity. Its element is fire and it supports the root, solar plexus, and sacral chakras. It assists you in achieving your highest goals and dreams, overcoming fear of taking action and of change. It helps you with transformation and gives the body energy and vitality. It can help you in the kitchen by tackling challenges, complex recipes, new ways of nutrition, dedication to a better eating plan, and creative ideas 
and creative ideas for new ideas. I gave you a large premium piece that is in the form of fire to inspire you with courage, confidence, and passion. This is a beautiful piece and I am so excited to have it. All right, so here is this amazing box from Wolf and Time. This is their Luna Luxe box. Let me know which of these items was your favorite. I am very, very torn between the apron and the crystal. I don't know. I mean, the apron is just too darn cute. I'm gonna adjust this a little later. I'm, I'm very torn between the apron and the crystal. So those two, I think, are my favorite parts about this box. Let me know what yours are. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down a little fire flame down in the comments below to go alongside with this flame of a beautiful carnelian. And I shall see you guys on the next video. Bye!